Hi, I'm going to show you how to edit your x-axis uh, data labels. And this is very quick and very easy. It's a little bit different in Excel 2016. So let's get started. Uh, imagine that you have a graph here that has a y-axis with uh, data in a numerical fashion and then you have this x-axis which is a time series. Now to change the time series label is a little bit different than changing a non-time series label so I'll show you two examples. Um, so if we wanted to change the labels here to something maybe like an index we can go over and look at the data that we have and we can see we don't have an index like a month index so let's add one. So So I'm just going to create a quick index that should do it. Now, instead of having the month, date, and year, we'll have the running month index. So I would go over here, highlight the x-axis, right click, go to select data. And you can see you can edit here the, the legend entries. Click that. Now you have the option between changing the series names, the X values, and the Y values. We know we want to change the X values. So you can definitely uh, highlight this, but it's easier to click the up arrow, take it out, and then just select the months that you need for your graph. I think mine goes to June 29th. Hit that. And you can see that that's changed. And you just hit OK. OK. Now that's, <clears throat> that's for time series because it's chronological. But if you have a non-chronological data table, for example, here's animal and weight. I just created some dummy data here. And this is broken up by the different type of animal. And the weight is on the Y axis. But what if you want to maybe create another marker here? Some, it could be anything. This just kind of exemplifies that you can create anything to change the label. So I'm just going to change some things here. And I'm going to take this data and copy it down. So now I want to go and change this to the marker that I created. Same process. Select data. Now, as you can see, instead of ha being able to change the legend entries, you're also able to change the horizontal. That's because it's, it's not in a chronological fashion. So click edit on the horizontal axis. Click that up arrow again. Backspace to remove. And just choose your marker. Down arrow, boom. It's updated. Thank you. I hope that helps.